This here has specified a gasoline engine sludge protection test. With the help and backing of Daimler, a modern direct injection turbocharged engine was offered, the M271 Evo, and a new sludge test development group was initiated by the CEC. Sludge protection is very important in modern engines. If sludge forms around your engine, it can cause the oil to thicken and oil pressure to drop, causing a potential engine failure. So this test is designed to understand how an oil performs in preventing that sludge from forming on the engine. The M271 EVO sludge test is split in two phases. Phase one is focused on high speed and loads. It's the purpose to oxidize the oil and to promote fuel entrainment. Phase two, covering different speed load temperatures with focus of understanding the severity of fuel patches. Actual test length depends on the severity of the fuel and is currently 290 hours. And the fuel for this test is specially formulated to allow sludge to form. So it's not a normal fuel you can buy on the forecourt. It's very specific for this test. There is no oil change or top up in the test procedure to simulate the long oil drain intervals in modern European engines. There are five components that are evaluated for sludge. The oil pan with sump, cylinder heads, cylinder head front cover, valve cover and the timing cover. The average depth of sludge of each individual component is then taken to form the overall average engine sludge. Oil marketers are not able to get a required pass limit for the ASEA claim that they are trying to achieve. It could potentially mean that that oil will have to be pulled from the market. Any claims for oil performance must be based on controlled tests in accredited laboratories.